whatever the reinforcement is. Yes, fluent for that reinforcement, okay? Because they're not going to want to have this big experience with you back to that thing if that thing isn't already built, okay? So this thing is already built, okay? Rome is here. Rome? <laughs> anyway, it's yeah. here. It's wonderful. <laughs> and the dog is like, why are you leaving that here? That is our thing. So are you capable with your dog to walk away from that thing? You have to have that piece built first. Make sense? Yeah. So if your dog doesn't have the impulse control to not grab the thing, then that's the first piece. Okay? So that piece is built. They love it. They have impulse control enough that they're not going to attack it the moment you step away from it. Your dog's mind is there, <laughs> right? You already know that. So what I try to do is I try to build it that I can do something they already have a pattern set up for, a game that I already have in place, that they understand the rules of that game. Maybe it's a hand touch, hand touch, spin, get the thing. Something as simple as that, okay? I've created that at home in my little laboratory, in my environment. Hand touch, hand touch, spin, get the thing. That's not what I do, but just saying, that's as an example, okay? Um, maybe it's a, a wee between my leg and then a, a dance, and a, I don't know, but pick something, okay? Pick your nose, I don't care. Um, so they do the thing, and then I say, <laughs> get the thing, whatever that word is, okay? That word right there, it's kind of a throwaway word at first for me because it's not really rock star. That's just a get the thing word. Like if you were to say yes or something like that, then fine, say that word. So now, can I do that and can I take a few more steps away? And can I do the touch the thing, touch the thing, spin, get the thing, right? This is in my laboratory. Now, at what point can I take this on the road? Well, when they're really solid at that. So maybe I go in the hall now. Because they don't train in the hall. They'd be like, why are we in the hall training? I don't know. It's really narrow and hard to do. Let's try it. <laughs> can we do this in the driveway? Can we do this in the backyard? Can we do this in the side yard? Can I drive down the street to the gas station we walk to all the time? Can I do it there? Make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, a long line. Be safe. Don't get your dog squished. Okay? Um, so now I've got it to the point that I can take it, and whatever I do at home, I do the same step somewhere else. So if my first step at home was literally one step, I've set it down, then when I go to the gas station, that's as far as I am. I'm not starting off where I left off at home. So if I left off at home, then I can set this toy down and we can heal across the house. Now my house is little, okay? It's like 40 feet, I think, from here to here. Um, 40 steps, no, it's not even that much, whatever. Um, this far. Um, so now I'm at the end of my house and I say, get the thing, whatever the word is. I'm not gonna start there at the gas station. <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. So each place that I go and I start that next rep, I'm gonna start back at the first step. It's just right there, yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. so then I go to my next place, my next place, my next place. Generalization is really hard for our dogs. So set them up for success. Take them lots of places. Do this at lots of places. Places you don't even expect. Um, so I go to the gas station, I go to the bank, I go to the grocery store, uh, I go to random fields, I go to the woods. Like I do this in every context that I can possibly think to do this in. I do this with everything I train. So now that I have that, now I'm going to start actually starting to use my cue um, that I'm going to start wanting to use. So new cue, old cue. So now I have this behavior pretty solid that I know they're going to go do that thing and they're going to stay with me. So now they still know where it is. I'm across my house. I'm back, in, back, I'm back home, just so you know. I'm home. <laughs> and now I'm across my house. I know they can be successful. And so now I have my hand touch, hand touch, spin, rock star, yes, whatever that word was before and we're running back to that thing and we're having the biggest party ever. That's how it goes. Pretty simple. Did I make it too easy? No. Well, I have hmm. a question for you. Yeah. When you're saying you're doing your hand touch, hand touch, get that thing. Yeah. And when you go, before you say change it to rock star, are you still having a party with them every time they get it? Or oh, you yeah. Just get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my fault not saying that clearly. She's yeah. just not assigning the word rock star to the, don't name right. it until you love it. Yep. That's yeah. what she's saying. Yeah. And it, it can just be a... Word. And because I've set up the, the picture, the anticipation, the expectation that's there, um, I'm good to go. Now, the, um, my dog doesn't have the impulse control because that thing is too high. Do you know how to do that piece? That's no. tricky piece, right? You're going to let me just gloss over that, aren't you? Nope, you need to do it. <laughs> you waiting until there was a break. In the conversation, don't worry. <laughs> control piece. I know we're talking about play, but let's talk about impulse yeah, control well, here. what happens when you put your ball down and your dog's walking with you, but they're like this, looking at the ball back. They're going to be. Right? Yeah. They're going to be. And the cool thing about that is because they now expect this pattern in this game, 
because they know the first rep they were here, and I really wanted that ball, but I did the two things, and I did the thing, and I get the thing. Well, now they know, okay, I just got to do the thing really fast, and I'll get the thing. I'll do the thing really fast, and we get the thing. That's how you get the distance, mm -hmm. because they already have that pattern established. Oh, so God. that pattern is really yeah. important, and I teach the pattern before I teach the, the, the thing out, the, the indirect reward. Mm -hmm. I teach that pattern mm -hmm. first. So it's a touch, touch, spin, reward for me. Touch, touch, spin, reward for me. They already have that game. They know that game well. Then I can bring in the thing, a really low distracting thing, okay? Don't start with your highest thing. Mm -hmm. A low distracting thing, maybe it's a piece of kibble. Touch, touch, spin. Let's get the thing here, yay! And then start upping the value of that as well. Hmm. So that's the piece that, that's how you start building that impulse control piece there. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on leash or off leash. In my house, I'm not the best about working on a leash. Guilty. <laughs> yeah, guilty. Um, that thing I, I, isn't there. So what happens if I'm on the field and I'm doing the thing and I say rock star and they're like, wait a minute, <laughs> you didn't put the thing there. What are they going to do? They're going to look Follow for it, you. right? Done. It's yeah. that easy. Oh. That easy. <laughs> what? Lost because me. rock star now means run with me to run get the thing. Run with mom. Get something. Yeah. yeah. And maybe it's reward. not the best practice. Um, I think it's okay. fast tracking. Regardless if you lump something and it works, I call it fast tracking. I think that's Sarah Bruski uh, used, used that. I use that because I'm like, dude, if I lump it and it worked, that's fast tracking. <laughs> yes. um, and so what I've found so far with every dog that I've taught that, I've, I've lumped this last piece and it's worked. So, um, But it's just a matter of I just don't have it there. And I don't even do that at home. Like the first time I do it, it's typically on the field. Yeah. And so we're out working on the field and I've had reinforcement on me. I've been training, it's a normal training day. Everything is going well. And the dog does something I really like. Mm. And that's when I pull it out. Yeah. And all of a sudden I say, Rockstar! And the dog's like, what? <laughs> what? And I'm like, yeah, we're doing it. And I just take off running. You know, and, and I go and I get that thing that I have pre-planned. And I know that the dog loves that thing a whole bunch. Um, for checkmate, and this probably wasn't the best, the best choice, but I did it, and nobody died. Um, so Michael didn't know I was doing this, and he had his decoy pants on, and <laughs> he was over by the van, and he was just getting ready. And I was like, Rockstar! And I took off running, and I was like, Michael, incoming! <laughs> and I was like, fight! <laughs> checkmate was like, oh! So for him, that was Rockstar... A now is so supercharged yeah. from that one possibility wow. of that one time that Michael might be over there for that bite off the field <laughs> that he is just like, whoa, buddy. <laughs> I mean, his brain melted a little. I well, mean, then it, you have your rock stars go with me together, but then you can't give that other reinforcement yes. to you of go bite the thing. Yes, right? which is very similar to my Mondio. Yeah. And I stole that from Denise Finzi. I've yeah. been watching what she's doing, and I love it. It made so much more sense to me. After the dog is fluent with their behavior and they're fluent with their reinforcement, mm -hmm. start having that in-between thing. And what she was using was um, the between the legs. And I'm like, hey, I've got that behavior. I'll try it. And so what it does, it takes all the anticipation out. And I'm using it in my odor work now, too. So radish, it's, it's been a game changer with radish. Um, but the idea is I can be healing. I really like what he does. My marker word now is mandio which means go between my legs. So mm -hmm. between legs, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. I call it Mondio, so that's what I'll say. I love his healing right now. Mondio, he flips around over to my legs. It's the in-between, it's like a pre-marker. Now it's your turn. Now I can tell him whatever marker it is I want to do. Do I want you to strike the thing in my hand? Do I want you to chase the thing? Um, do I want you to catch a thing? You know, Do I want you to go bite a bad guy? Do I, what do I want you to do? But what's nice about that is if you have dogs that anticipate your marker, they mm -hmm. anticipate going to get the toy, they anticipate going to do the thing, then give them that in-between thing, between the legs. It's nice because they know they're right there with you. Stole that from Denise. You can watch her stuff and see if you like it too. You can see some good examples of it. More questions. I